Hello and welcome back to my office. As you can see, I am clean shaven and I've had a haircut. New, new and improved, Nick. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome back to my office. Welcome to Thursday. Um, yeah, thought I'd throw together a vlog, let you know what I'm up to. I've been doing some satisfying things. Um, oh, I forgot to film when this, let me show you. Um, I'm sorting out a little Now TV uh, like streaming box. Uh, picked it up the other week uh, for a few quid and the remote, I, I wish I'd filmed it. Well, to give you an idea, there, there was like white gunge coming out of here. The batteries had properly exploded in here. But I have cleaned it up and I find these sort of jobs so satisfying. So now it's not perfect but it's a darn sight better than it was. So actually, I'll pop some batteries in it and I'll show you using the phone how to test if a remote is working. And we'll find out together if my fix has actually done <laughs> what it's intended to do and it's now working again. So, batteries installed. So if you use your phone, uh, just use the, the facing you camera and point the remote at your camera and when you press a button you should see there you go the infrared comes on and you can quickly test that all of the buttons are sending out the signal and that seems to have done the trick so yeah I love doing things like that so this has gone from being a complete mess with exploded batteries in to nice and clean and working which is cool. Now, next job that I hope is going to be just as satisfying is you may have seen in the background on this uh, kind of rogues gallery that I've got going on. There's been a Spider-Man set there, sat, hmm, sat there for a few weeks and I haven't got round to testing him. I've had this guy before. He takes batteries and if he works this web thing shoots out of his hands and I think his head turns side to side and he he fires so I'm gonna get some batteries in here well we'll open it up together see what state the battery compartments in <laughs> see if it needs cleaning up the tool my tool of choice for cleaning up um, battery compartments is uh, is my toothbrush well we're not my toothbrush that I use but you know my office toothbrush which of course has vanished now it's over here so yeah I find it a super perfect tool for getting all of the gunge out um, so yeah I always have a toothbrush kicking around the office useful for so many fiddly little cleaning jobs okay so it's fine the right uh, tool that'll probably do So that's not too bad at all. Yep, that should be fine. So let's grab some batteries. So pop some batteries in. Two, three, four. Pop this back on. There we go. So with any luck, um, this will be satisfying job number two. Uh, there's two buttons on his back to make him fire from each hand. So, oh, why is it not? Oh, is it not on? Ah, there we go. Yeah, see, so he turns his head and then these fly up. Look at that. And he's poseable, so we can fire up and fire straight at the camera. Oh, that didn't really go. <laughs> Try again. 
Excellent. Job done. Just realised I haven't shown you my new office chair. I did share this on Instagram. Um, yesterday, I, I went and picked this up. I bought this on eBay. I sent out a cheeky offer. It was listed for 50. Uh, it's a comfy leather office chair. Or it might be pleather, but it does smell of leather, so I'm thinking it might even be real. Anyway, um, it was listed at 50 uh, locally to me. I sent out a 30 pounds offer. And they accepted, uh, and I needed a new office chair. So here it is. It's my new fancy pants chair. Can you see? Da, da, da. How exciting I hear you cry. Um, right, yesterday, also, when I went to pick this up, I popped into a CEX because you may remember I picked up this. This is Lynx Crossbow Training. Uh, the pack that originally contained the software and the gun. So I paid a pound for this, um, but it only contains the gun. So I popped in CEX and they had one on the shelf of the software for 75p. And it, it, it's in absolutely minty fresh condition, which is lovely, complete with manual. So now, satisfying job number three for the day if i pull this out uh you can see the space that there is there for the software so if we just add that in sit somewhere like that that goes there like that oh, lovely and then the whole thing will slide back in the box satisfying <laughs> so there we go um yeah it makes me happy right another cool thing that turned up today actually while i think of it um these little things now we struggle for phone mounts in the car we've tried the ones that stick to your windscreen and they end up losing suction or they get brittle in the sunlight and snap um we heard about these little things that stick into your air vents. We've got one for each of our cars now. So they're just tiny little grippy things to hold your phone and it sits on the air vent. So we're going to try these out. Hopefully that will solve the problem we have. I also received a package uh, with a note in which says, Hi Nick and Andrea, here is a small thank you for all the help your videos have given me over the years. After all, it is what got me into reselling. I'm sure you will make them look brand new with your fancy machine. Thanks again. See you on the Sunday Live. And that's Tim. And Tim has sent over a couple of games. We've got the classic San Andreas and the uh, Vice City Platinum version. So... You say, I'm sure you will make them look brand new, so I'm assuming they're quite badly scratched. Oh yeah, that's in a bit of a state. Um, but nothing too bad that I shouldn't be able to repair it, so that one should come up fine. It's got the manual, no map unfortunately, but I think I've got a map knocking about. I've certainly got some of the GTA maps, whether it's a Vice City one, I don't know. And then San Andreas, oh yeah few deep ones hopefully that will be fine you see the state of it and got a manual and again no map but I may well have a spare so thank you Tim I will do my level best to repair those and uh, get them sold on thank you so much and thanks for the lovely notes and thank you for watching so I've been sorting through some stock ready to list, thought I'd quickly share a few items. Um, this that we picked up a couple of weeks ago at a Jumble Trail event, um, it's a camping gas uh, burner. Now it did come with a canister of fuel, uh, which feels about sort of three quarters full. Can't send those through the post, so I'm selling, I've taken that off and I'll try and sell that when we do a, a 
a boot sale or whatever. Um, but just the the burner attachment as is um, should sell for about 20. So I've just drafted that. So that's going to go on for 20. I think I paid 50 pence for that. Um, so yep, nice bread and butter flip as they call them. Um, yeah, this that I showed before, uh, I've just plugged it in and it all fires up lights up that's fine that's an, enough of a test for me we now know that the remote works now these two ways of doing it the units themselves just as a unit i'd bundle the remote with it because they're not worth anything um about 10 to 12 pounds the plugs go up for up to 13 14 i've seen people selling them so i could do two listings and and get those prices those are with with free shipping or as a setup, it's around 20. So similar. I'm thinking I'm going to do one listing, but it, yeah. Options. And then um, I've just drafted this little small pet door. So this is for cats or small dogs. Uh, it's new in the box, but very scruffy box. Uh, should get about 10 pounds for that. Um, this that I think we shared in a recent haul. We paid four pounds at a jumble trail again. Uh, it's brand new and sealed. It's Ravensburger Indigo, a board game. And I'm gonna aim for 70. Very few about, there's one sealed listed on eBay that I could find, which I think is located in Germany and they're asking about 100 pounds. Which I don't think is achievable. I will actually do a Terra Peak search in a, in a bit and kind of do another check, but that was my initial thinking. Um, so that would be a nice return if we can get it. I don't know if that's achievable. Uh, I picked this up yesterday when I was out picking up the chair. Uh, I popped in a few charity shops, you know, rude not to. Um, I found an entropy game. I've sold this a couple of times. Um, yeah, I think I sold it at Amazon FBA before now and did quite well. I think I achieved more than this, but I'm not currently doing Amazon. Um, eBay, I think I'm going to look for about 16, uh, and that was 250 in the charity shop. It's 100% complete. Looks barely used inside. Oh, there's the instructions. Not in the box. And then I've just drafted this. This is a Ryobi um, patio cleaner attachment for a Ryobi jet washer. Um, new inside, still all sealed up in there. Um, should be about £30. And I think I paid four for that one. So that's what I've been drafting. I have listed a load of software that I showed in my last vlog. And a bunch of it is gone. It hasn't even made it onto the shelf yet. And that sold immediately. Need speed heat, which I think went for 15. Uh, paid a pound. I'm pretty sure Fallout's just gone. In fact, I had a media order in. My, my phone went ka-ching crazy. <laughs> like ching 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 ching. And I had a look and there's a media order that totals 50 pounds. It's, um, I don't know if it's a viewer. I didn't see a message on it. The software, CDs, DVDs. So maybe we'll pick that in a minute and see what's, see exactly what's in it. I'm pretty sure I saw a notification that Crash maybe had just sold. Uh, Crash Bandicoot PS2. So yeah, these are flying out. So let me bring up this order and we'll pick that just to show you what was in it. I'm looking down here because um, I'm in the process of switching everything over to my new um, Mac here, my new laptop. Uh, so this is going to go. And frustratingly, the problem I thought I was going to have was running my Zebra label printer on this. That was fairly straightforward. Trying to get 
this Samsung laser printer to work on here. No, nope. nightmare. Yeah, it seems I just can't get a driver that, that works on here with that. So we're thinking we may get a new wireless laser printer so we can set up all of our Macs wirelessly on a new one. But it's just, oh, there's always something, right? Anyway, this media order. So the order came to, as I thought, just under £50, 49.94. And so, yeah, Fallout 4, where have they gone? Uh, Fallout 4. Fallout 4 plus, so same order, Fallout 4. Oh, we just had an order come in, guess who's there? Also, Need for Speed Shift 2. Can't remember prices on these. Uh, I think that was about a fiver. I think Shift 2 was like six or seven pounds. Also, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, which was like, I don't know, five or six pounds. And then um, some PS1 games. Oh, these have been on for quite a while. I bundled up three um, PS1 games. They're in here now. Um, let's move some stuff. So, three um, kind of box standard games that I just wanted to bundle up to get an easy sale. I think they were on it 12 or 13 pounds, maybe. Uh, we've got Track and Field, uh, International Track and Field, the Konami one, International Moto, so a motocross game, and Porsche Challenge, so those have gone. And then there's a Thomas the Tank Engine DVD bundle, so I'm glad that's gone. And Ocean Colour Scene, two CDs. So the Thomas bundle is here, it's at the top here. One, two, three, four, five, six, it's all of that. So it's a big wadge of those gone, which is great. And what did I say? Ocean color scene. So let's move about in here. Uh, let's have a look. CDs are getting really low in here now. I need to have another purge and get a load listed. Right, it's these two. Can you see what I'm doing? No, you can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ocean Colour Scene. Um, great band, huge in the 90s. We've seen them live. Uh, we saw them live about five years ago. Um, they did an acoustic set. So a couple of those. So that's the £50 order. Um, I'm actually shipping out tomorrow, so I won't pick a load of other stuff. And I need to give a few shout outs, but I'll do a bit more picking tomorrow, I think. But yeah, that's a nice little £50 order. What is on my stereo today, I hear you cry? Or maybe you're thinking, I don't care, Nick. <laughs> I mentioned in my last video that I'm I'm listening to a lot of Radiohead at the minute and I am currently listening to The Benz. Um, absolute masterpiece. I don't know what my favourite Radiohead album is. I don't know if I have one, but um, let me know if you have a favourite below. And then for today's video, we've not been to a boot sale for ages. We, just, we made the decision not to go until we'd both had our Covid jabs, both of them. So I think we're going to go back to car boots soon. I've been really missing them. They're a totally different feel to um, the jumble trail events we go on. We do really well at both, but I do miss the kind of manic, kind of run around as quick as you can and see what you can find at a car boot. So hopefully we'll be going back to car boot soon. But I will find an old car boot video and pop it up here for the meantime. So please check this video out if you've not seen it before. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.